I've been driving for 16 years. It took me a while because uh, I've been sitting on a chair for 20 years. But in Singapore, it is very different from other countries where you can just buy a car just like that. In Singapore, the rules is uh, being a guy with physical disability, if you want to drive, first get a job. So it took me a while to get a job. Once I get a job, the first thing I did was buy a car. The car that we buy from the local dealers, they're all just standard, standard automatic cars. So what happened here is that we need to add in a hand control gadget in order for us to use our hand to accelerate, decelerate and uh, to press on the brakes. So what happened here is that the only place in Singapore to buy the hand control gadget would be Handicap Welfare Associations. So once you get it, bring it along with you to any of the local car dealers. Choose a car that you would like to buy, give it to them because there's this installation uh, instructions. They will just follow the instruction, get it installed. And after they install it, we have to send our car for an inspection. Once we pass the inspection for safety, the car will be ready to be on the road. This car is 8 years old. 8 years ago, this gadget cost $1,000. 20 years ago, 16 years ago, the gadget cost $500. So with inflation, currency and such, I assume it's going to be more expensive now, at this present moment. So, because this particular one that is approved by the local authorities, which is the Land Transport Authority, uh, is from the US. While there are many, many different types of driving gadgets available in the world, Singapore only approved this particular one. No other models. Uh, okay, so... The lever, it, it is literally just a lever, a mechanical lever. Uh, it extends out to, to the right side, no, to my right hand. And then it has got two metal par bars going down, connecting to the accelerating pedal as well as the brake pedal. So when I use my hand, my right hand, I'm using my right hand to control my driving right now and my left hand on my steering wheel. So when I push downwards towards my legs, that will be accelerating and then when I lift it up back to the neutral position and push the lever against the dashboard that is spring I, I don't know if this is a world thingy or, or it just happens to be in the Asia region meaning around our Asia region that uh, people has this mentality or concept that guys sitting on a wheelchair ladies sitting on a wheelchair doesn't drive so they will just take it that the handicap lot is redundant you know, they, they don't believe people on wheelchair can drive. So, but a lot of times when, when we pull up, you know, in a handicap lot or anywhere, when we open the door and take out our wheelchair, everybody literally just look at us and say, how do you drive? Even my neighbors of 15 years, initially they were asked, how do you drive? You know, because they see my car every day at the lift lobby, very near the lift lobby every day. And it, it took them a lot of courage to just come up to me and ask, how do you drive? Can you show me how you drive? How do you take in and out your chair? But a lot of them, they don't ask because they've seen me doing it every, every time I go home or every time I go out. My dream is to drive a car around the world, if I can. That's a dream. And I look at a map, it can be done. It can be done. Of course, of course, many, many, many people have done it before. Many, many people have done it before. Uh, but that's what other people do. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna really try. You know, what is my limit? Where is my limit? How far can I go in driving? The reason why I like driving because I like the freedom. I really like the freedom. 